Instagram, did you like my story? Facebook, you totally missed out. It was a, I had, it was a day yesterday for me. Instagram knows. Woo! If you are on Instagram but you weren't watching on Instagram, you can go back and watch it. I had a really grumpy day yesterday, like more than I've ever had. It was really intense. But I'm in a lot better mood today. Yay. Danny's like, it would have been a scary live video. So we're going to have a good day today because I woke up happy. I know. Um, we have our life hacks today for our man manageable Mondays. So let's get started. We are live. Who is ready for some DIYs? I may be overfilled a couple of them. We want you to become empowered to know what you're purchasing because you know that's only going to help you be able to help your family. Welcome back. Okay, so let's see. We're going to give you some ideas to help you use your oils on the go. That's the blog post. It is the blog post. And we have life hacks today. And Katrina and I maybe have admitted we have at least done one of these life hacks. You guys will have to guess what one. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we have life hacks today and they all are surrounding rubber bands. So, you know, like um, the little black clips, I mean, we have drawers probably full of rubber bands where we don't even know where we've gotten them. So I think most people have rubber bands in their house, so you'll be able to do a lot of these life hacks. But before we jump into all of that fun stuff, we are going to see, oh, Nina says she woke up tired again. Nina, oh. I'm sorry. It's not good two days in a row. like one day but then you need a, a good day the next day oh sometimes days are hard okay let's see who's joining us we have a lot of people saying good morning but not where they're from <laughs> jesse from maryland did we get an early live um they were having some issues with youtube so they did do a test yes but it looks like it's working so was that fun or what? Did we get to see Danny's mom there? Uh, she didn't know that, so uh, <laughs> <laughs> you were live. I didn't want to tell you. So I'm glad you didn't. You guys should have seen her face. That was fantastic. <laughs> um, okay, so those were all the comments from the original live. <laughs> I get what's going on. Okay, I'll bring it down a little bit. Um, we have Christina from Rhode Island, Hannah from Wisconsin, Ashley from Florida, Teresa from Kentucky joining us, Pete from California, Elizabeth, hello from Florida. I'm finally feeling better after a three-day flu bug, like the flu bug or the like influenza bug. I mean, either way it sucks, but just curious. We have Michelle from Wisconsin, Mona from Michigan, Cassie from Arizona, Bullhead City in Arizona. That's pretty cool. I'm from Bullhead. <laughs> that is actually a cool name for me. Uh, I'm going to scroll down a little bit. Kara says, it's 12.30 a.m. here. Kara, where? <laughs> where is it 12.30 a.m.? <laughs> no kidding. 12.30 is Amber is joining us from California. Roberta from Oregon. Celeste from Oregon. Nadine from Pennsylvania. Jolene from Chicago, Chicago cold dog walk this morning. That does not sound fun. Well, and it is maybe the one reason I don't have dogs or a dog because I don't want to have to walk them. Yeah, <laughs> I wouldn't want to walk a dog, but a nice brisk morning walk doesn't sound good. Okay. Not in the cold. <laughs> well, if you were bundled up and it's nice. When it's like super hot summery, you know, so it's nice and just, you know, perfect weather in the morning. Now, I would take that, Danny. Okay, that makes a lot I better. would do that. You made that sound a lot better. <laughs> um, okay, let's see who's joining us from Instagram today. Lynn DMC says hi from Lakeland, Florida. Oh, sweet earth. I oh, like this. sweet earth. She says, join the video, and Danny's talking about holly berries. Oh, it's true. <laughs> oh, Danny <sorry>. was. <laughs> Love oil says hello from Chile, Missouri. Oh. Um, Gem 10510 says happy Monday from snowy Massachusetts. Happy Monday. That's a lot of tens. <laughs> Zebra Dazzle 1974 says hello from Kentucky. Welcome. You're getting a lot of love from being grumpy. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm it. sorry you had to hear my Elhoff grumpy story. 13 <laughs> says love your story, Rifa. Love that you are so real. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we all have those days. Her kids oh. didn't like that she was real this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> real cranky. Uh, fine. We have Mom and Mini Adventures says hi from Columbus, Ohio. 
and Tammy Gill says hi from Virginia. Hi Tammy Gill. Okay, we're gonna pick some PT friends and I am maybe going to cheat for a second. Cheat, how do you cheat on PT friends? Well, because there was a customer, so I told you guys about the Meridian customer appreciation, the Meridian retail, they did a customer appreciation on Saturday and there was a customer there and um, she was telling me about her picture on the wall. <laughs> so I told her if I saw it, I would pick it for her. <laughs> Dude, what was the picture? Um, uh, the Nampa Library, I believe. Oh, you'll totally find that up there. Oh, I think I see it. Do you see it? Okay. Oh, right here, right in the middle. Maybe I don't ever pick from the middle. You used to. Melissa! She watches every Monday and Friday, but can't watch live on Wednesdays because she's driving home. Uh, that makes sense. Um, we had a ton of people. We had so many people drive so far. It was so fun to be there. If you came and saw me, hi again. <laughs> um, okay, let's see who else. Apparently I need to pick some in the middle because I don't think I ever do. I think I like go over here and then I like go over here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, middle. I'm gonna pick one more from the middle. Okay. Oh my, Anna wrote a story to us and I'm gonna read the whole story. Okay, so this is from Anna Kalikin. Kal Clicking. Clicking. <laughs> I like it. No town listed. Wait, I don't know. So, that, there's a story. Yeah, there's okay. a story behind that. But did, that's crazy that you picked that one because we just barely talked to her. Like, What do you mean talk? Like she just sent it in or something? Well, she sent in a description of what was going on because we didn't have one. Oh, okay. And, oh, that's funny. Okay, yeah, so this is the description, just, the new description. Yeah. Okay. This that. is beautiful Selkirk, Manitoba, my small little city town where the population is just over 10,000 people and is a very diverse culture. I am Russian who was born in Kazakhstan. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Grew up in Minnesota and 10 years ago after I got married, I moved to Manitoba where my husband was from. I grew up a city girl and here I landed in a freezing environment, but little <laughs> did I know I had a small town heart and I love my town. This town is very <gasps> Gilmore Girls Stars Hollow! <laughs> Shout out to Gilmore Girls! <laughs> I love Gilmore Girls. I have Girl. never seen Gilmore Girls. You miss now, Danny. <laughs> My husband's like, they talk way too fast. I said, that's because all they eat and drink is coffee and sugar. <laughs> okay, shout out to Gilmore Girls. Um, I now need to go to Selkirk, Manitoba. Just saying. Um, very much focused on community and its history, as well as constantly putting on different events during the summer and winter to bring the community together. Our town our town has a film crew here nearly every week filming movies and TV shows. Some of the recent films you might know are A Dog's Purpose, Heaven is for Real, and the new TV show Burden of Truth. I have included the major historic site landmarks here in the photo compilation, which included our Marine Museum, Old Selkirk Manitoba Avenue, Famous Blue Historic Lift Bridge, and Riverside Grill, where many movies are filmed, as well as our famous Selkirk Chuck the Channel Catfish. <laughs> Whoa, that is a <laughs> mouthful. <laughs> if you are ever in Manitoba, I encourage you to visit this beautiful history-filled town. Anna, I'm sold. Ryan, I know you're not watching, but I want to move to Selkirk, Manitoba. I don't even know where Manitoba is. Is that Washington or is that in Canada? I don't know. I, maybe there's oh. one in both. Help us out. Help us out. Never watched Gilmore Girls. I mean, I think you either love it or hate it. I'm just saying, I got really excited when she compared it. That's uh, really cool. Brittany said, my hubby got me into Gilmore Girls. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Sorry if I clapped right there, guys. <laughs> oh, not uh, if. I mean, I did. Sorry if it was loud. Um, okay, Anna, thank you for sending in that story and your picture. Please email cs at planttherapy.com, and we are sending you some swag. I don't know what swag. Jerry now does it. Because <laughs> I used to like pull it out. I'd be like, Jerry, I don't care what you do. So she just does it now. <laughs> she's fantastic. Or maybe she's like, Retha, pull it out from, nope. Mm -mm. Um, Paulette, just real quick, Paulette uh, Peasley on Facebook said, how do your oils work? You're in the right place. I just wanted to let her know she's in the right place to find out how <laughs> our oils out. work. We don't spend the whole time talking about Gilmore Girls. Yeah. 
<laughs> so this is from Melissa Marshall. She's from Nampa. She came to um, the Meridian Customer Appreciation Day at our Meridian retail store. Um, and she had mentioned that it said, no better place to be the Nampa Public Library. Ooh, that rhymes. <laughs> no better place to be than the Nampa Public Library. Maybe they have a jingle, and if not, <laughs> yeah. you know who there to you call. <laughs> Danny over there. Um, Melissa, email CS at planttherapy.com. It's your turn. <laughs> Lily and Gilmore Girls Obsessed over here. My baby girl is my Rory to my Lorelei. <laughs> Oh. That must be a Gilmore's girl <laughs> inside joke. <laughs> yep. Okay, <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is from Jennifer Kirkland in High Spring, Florida. Um, a cool. Merle, I thought it was an O when I was like, morale? <laughs> but it, okay. A Merle painted in my hometown. Whoa, I thought that was like a picture of her daughter. Legit when I picked it. Yeah, that's the side of a building. Wow. That's pretty cool. That's super cool. Instagram, can you see that? I really thought I was picking somebody's like child. <laughs> That's well, really cool. Possibly somebody's child. Well, yeah, but not not Jennifer's <laughs> like I thought. Um, anyway, it's Jennifer. Email CS at planttherapy.com and we will also be sending you some swag. Um, for those of you who aren't aware of what our PT Friends wall is, we ask that you mail us a postcard or pictures of your family, your hometown, um, something that we that it can help us get to know you a little bit um that's the point of this because we love getting to know our customers so mail us a picture um once we receive it it goes on our pt friends wall and then we randomly pick some although <laughs> melissa's not so randomly <laughs> we randomly pick some and then you win something so send them in um danny is the address up there i did put it up there i'll put it up again so you guys can see cool it. Um, and the, the other thing that I really like is after you win, we put your picture up on the in the studio wall on another place that will it'll probably stay there permanently. So we'll always be able to look at you. Yeah. See what you're doing. Soon it will just be like every last place in here will just be covered with pictures. And then covered we'll have with to move pictures. To a new studio. <laughs> eh, there could be worse things. Let's see. Caitlin's telling us something. It is in Canada, Caitlin says. Thank you, Caitlin. Kristen said that she can never find her picture when she's looking up there. If you will email PT Friends and. What's her name on? Look it up. Oh, Kristen Davis. Mom's going to look up your Jerry's name. Jerry's looking it up. She's yeah, on top she's of efficient. it. Okay, so we have this new blog post um, that's all about traveling with essential oils, everything you need to know. So I love how it starts with spring break. Who's going somewhere for spring break? Just me? <laughs> We've been planning this spring break trip for three years, you guys, because it's to celebrate my mother-in-law's 60th birthday. Um, so it's been, so I'm super excited because we literally, for three years, we have been been planning this. And so like the fact that we're less than three weeks away, my and, family is freaking out. And you're going to Buell? No, we're going to <laughs> Hawaii, actually. Oh. <laughs> it's been a long time of saving and planning and we're super excited. Um, Anyway, so this is a perfect time, right? A lot of people travel during spring break, summer's coming. A lot of people, oh, summer's coming. A lot of people travel in the summer. So this is a perfect blog post um, to help you because we do get a lot of questions on traveling with essential oils. Like, you know, can you, can they go in your carry on? Um, whatever, we get lots of questions about um, what are the best oils that, you know, we have lots of customers that say, if, like you can't take all of your oil supply, right? So what are the top oils that you take with you traveling? Um, and this blog post helps answer some of those questions. So, obviously, the Bomb Squad. Shout out to the Bomb Squad. Yep, it is awesome. How many of you have received your Bomb Squad already? Can you take me in your carry on, Amy? No, my carry on's really small. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Uh, Plus, she's got her other kids in there. Yeah. <laughs> That's how they get How do you think we're affording this? <laughs> uh, three years of savings. That's how. Um, let's see. Let us know if you've already received your bomb squad. And I finally purchased it on Saturday, the bomb squad. I don't know what took me so long, but I'm super well, excited for it. How long had it been out? Well, I know what I wanted at the first day. So the fact uh. that it took me like three days. <laughs> I was going to say, well, you're not busy or anything. <laughs> well, <laughs> um, 
Okay, so be proactive instead of reactive. What does that mean? Did you write this mm -hmm. blog post? Okay, Katrina, why don't you come here? What? Come here. All right. We're going to get Katrina over here. Oh, man. Yeah, you need your microphone. Is it gonna go? No, she can stand by me close okay, enough. Okay, just think. hug. Inhalers Lisa. are fantastic to bring, especially for like airplanes, because <laughs> you don't want everyone else smelling those oils yeah, too much. Yeah, that's right. That's rude. That's whoa. I think that's rude. <laughs> Use your inhaler. Tell us how you really feel. <laughs> <laughs> so what are we talking about? Being, I mean, you being tell us. Being proactive yeah. rather than reactive. Well, if you go out and. You know you're going to eat that fast food. You probably know you're going to get a stomach ache. You're going to get cramps. I mean, we all know it happens. So be be proactive. Bring or your how peppermint. many people struggle with bowel movements while traveling? Uh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying it's a thing, right? Because your mm -hmm. diet changes when you're traveling a lot. And you're usually a little bit of anxiety, which doesn't help. And, you know, you're sitting in a hotel room with everyone there and it's very small and you know if you have to do your business sometimes that's awkward mm -hmm. and then <laughs> Danny don't pretend like you don't know what I'm talking about <laughs> I'm laughing because I know exactly what you're talking about but I don't have to be traveling for those problems <laughs> and then there's also you know if you have problems sleeping somewhere different for you know, sure we have a lot of great things for getting good rest uh, headaches you know sitting for a long time if you're on a road trip and you get that head and neck tension you know that's what I mean just be be proactive instead of it happening and you're like oh, oh I wish I would have brought I didn't bring this. my I can be every time <laughs> hey you have you said you're going spring break that's two weeks one week away like two and a half yeah you have time to be proactive yes that's true that's true see that's why we have her here okay so then the next one is keep it not keep it simple stupid although that literally is what just came to my mind keep it simple with pre-diluted roll-ons mm -hmm. Pretty self-explanatory. That way you don't have to mix or dilute anything. You just got it ready to go. Yeah, because it'd be a lot harder traveling with all of the stuff to make it. So make it beforehand. Carrier oils and all that. You don't want to do that. And it gives you a good uh, list of some of the pre-diluted roll-ons that you might need. Cool. Anything yeah. else you want to give a shout out? Like this is <laughs> this is. That's you. I that mean, that's you. going. I'm gonna take a picture like that. But that's, my toenails are not That's you and your husband's legs right there. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Katrina. You're welcome. <laughs> Any questions about traveling, guys? We're traveling with six little boys under five for 16 hours this summer. We need mm -hmm. a bottle size of calming the child. And duct tape. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying it from experience. <laughs> from experience. We, We're going to we take flew, the duct tape away from Danny. My, wi my wife's sister lives in Finland, and we flew to Finland, and that was a like a 16 hour trip it was long and uh yeah i wished i would have had duct, duct tape, tape. <laughs> <laughs> um so here's a little wow miss dorita has some pretty toes prettier than my toes <laughs> because i don't ever paint my toenails um maybe i will get like a you know the gel stuff on toes that lasts a little bit longer than paint we'll see i don't know um <laughs> duct tape danny exactly um so as you know i'm obsessed with immune boom and i have my immune boom roller bottles like everywhere um i probably have like a total like eight or something like they're just everywhere um so we went to we stayed the night in boise me and my amelia and vaughn so my four and seven year old huh. <laughs> um and I, the only oil of course the only oil i brought with me was immune boom and my baby was coughing like crazy. And she ended up coughing so hard that she gagged and vomited a little bit, which was miserable when you're in a hotel room. Um, but thank goodness it was a little bit amount. It, was, it wasn't like she was vomiting, you know, it was just um, from her gagging from coughing so much. But the only thing I had with me was my immune boon. So I put it on her and guys, I'm just saying, I'm pretty sure it helped. I put it on her twice that night and it took about, um, I don't know, about 10 minutes, but then she stopped coughing both times. So maybe it was coincidence. I don't know. I only tested it twice, but I'm just putting it out there. Immune boom might be helpful. I'm going to keep trying it because it really did help that night. So I don't know. We'll see. Just putting it out there. Yeah. My wife swears Shout out to immune boom. And anytime somebody starts getting sick, she'll throw immune boom. Immune boom. Sure, destroyer. <laughs> I, anytime, like anybody in my family. Immune boom. Are you using immune boom? That's why. <laughs> and it's seriously, when we don't use it, you know, we continue to get sick. And this year has been really bad with me using as consistent as I normally do because my brain's just, I think, fried. 
Um, um, Faith says Immune Boom smells horrible. Now, Faith, that is a personal opinion because I think Immune <laughs> Boom I, smells amazing. I agree with. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I mean, it does smell like dill. So if you're not a big fan of pickles, there could be a problem. But we do have customers that add more citrus or stuff to it to help minimize that smell. But I absolutely love it. So, okay. If, you, if you're lucky out. enough to get uh, zombie blood, that's another good. It is. That's Good. Danny's replacement. It is. I'm an Immune Boom fan, and I really think it might have helped with my daughter's coughing. So I'm going to try it some more. If you guys try it, let me know. If you find success with it, I'll try it some more. I mean, not that, you know, she's not really coughing anymore. So I have to wait till next time, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, okay, here Kendra, we go. Kendra just said her hubby is uh, texting her. Should she answer or should she ignore it? Definitely uh, ignore it. <laughs> I mean, you only have like another 45 minutes of life here. Come on. <laughs> Just kidding. Let's get to these manageable hacks. Manageable well, wait, Mondays. Let's do a word scramble. I know. I have it right here. Okay, Are you, you ready? ready? I'm going to get the intro. Beedy beep, beedy beep, beedy beep, beedy beep, beedy beep, beep. Word and scrambler. All right. Here is your word, guys. Let's see it. You got 15. Is 56. it on the screen? It's on the screen, but then they also, you can show them as well if you want. It's the same thing. Guess what it is guess what blend this is this is a blend hmm are you seeing any uh beep, we beep, got boop. 35 seconds guys ignore oh ignore ashley's saying ignore your husband yeah <laughs> Ooh, i'm seeing some good guesses and some shout outs for year round zombie blood. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 10 seconds, guys. And then let's put this in our machine and see what it is. Five, four, three, two. Oh, I forgot to put this up. I'm sorry, guys. I forgot to put up the, the word. Is that okay. why they're saying zoom in? Because they can't see it? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm sorry. Oh, okay, I'm we'll so give sorry. you an extra couple of seconds. Five. Here, I'll zoom in. Four. Three, three, two, two. one. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Uh oh, there we go. <laughs> Just gotta give it a little shake. Oh. Just skin like the pop machine. Skin soother. Skin soother. Our kids safe skin soother. It's not on the screen. I know he was telling you. I tips. forgot. You guys didn't tell me until it was already over. <laughs> All right. Okay, Jesse's gonna hop on and tell us who the winner is. But in the meantime, I'm going to pull all of our life hacks over here. <clears throat> Ooh, a life hack with pants? Life hack with a picture frame? <laughs> <laughs> life hack with Danny. corn starch? I don't know what that is. Is that corn starch? Yep, yeah, mm -hmm. corn starch. With a water bottle. Wait a minute, is that my phone? Yeah, we stole it. And when I say we, I mean phone. your mom, so it's allowed. <laughs> All right, we have a winner, guys. And somebody's going to be excited. Do it again, do it again. Who's saying do it again? What are we doing again? Okay, we our winner is from Instagram, and it's at KikiBunny79. KikiBunny79. At KikiBunny79. <laughs> so at KikiBunny79. You just won yourself. Is this what she's winning? Skin soother? She's a winning 10 some skin mil soother. skin soother. Congratulations. Um, do, does she need to email us? Yes. Email CS at planttherapy.com and we'll get that sent to you. Cool. Thanks, Jesse. Okay. <clears throat> yep, exactly. So I told you at the beginning that Katrina and I both have used one of these hacks. Can you guess what one? Because um, I literally did this when I was pregnant. <laughs> when your pants don't quite fit, but you're not ready to, especially your first pregnancy, right? When you're not ready to wear those big maternity, come the second pregnancy and you're wearing those like week one. <laughs> there's like, there's no embarrassment, no shame there. <laughs> but the first one, you know, you're trying to wear your regular jeans as long as possible. Um, so quick life hack. This is great for pregnancy this is great for overeating like at thanksgiving dinner um you know you gain a little bit of extra weight and you really want to get it off so you don't want to buy new pants 
all, all great options to do this. So you're going to put it through the hole, mm. and then you've got yourself, it's a lot easier when they're on you. <laughs> you got yourself, look at that, a lot of extra wow. room to stretch those babies. Man, I'd need industrial rubber bands. <laughs> <laughs> you like the big ones? <laughs> Danny, just buy new pants if you get to that. Well, Here, I really Danny. I like these pants. Ooh. Well, that went really far. Oh, it hit my mom in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't even close. He's lying, you guys. Um, not me. I was in maternity as soon as possible. Devin with your first, Devin Shea Rowe with your first baby? I don't know. It seems like most first babies, you want to like wear your regular jeans the whole pregnancy. <laughs> um, Anna Gramp says it's good postnatal too. After you've had the oh baby. yeah, for sure. Yeah. When you're not back into your regular jeans, but you again don't want to wear full on maternity pants after the baby's born. But again, I think come um, second and third, you're wearing those for years after. Um, <laughs> by the third, I was living in yoga pants. Exactly. Um, okay, so another rubber band hack, if you have a picture that is not staying um, in the frame correctly, it's dropping or whatever, you put you put it in place. You see that handsome kid? Who That's my it? nephew. Aww. Oh, fun. And then you put rubber bands on top of it, and then you close it up, and it helps keep it in place. I really hope that didn't just fall. <laughs> nope, just look at her. Yep, do that, do that one more time because I uh, switched to the top camera. Is it falling when you yet? didn't need it. No, it's doing a really good job. How about now? I think it wins. Look at that. Um, so if you have a picture that isn't staying in place, let's say it's, you know, falling like that, you put the rubber bands, you put it in place and you put the rubber bands and then it doesn't slide because the rubber bands That's make it kind of really sticky. Cool. Yeah. Brilliant. I've done tape before, but it doesn't matter what kind of tape, it always ends up ripping it if you want to replace it. So this rubber band idea is fantastic, I think. I like it. Was that the one you guys were like, oh, yo, 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 yo. Yeah, Katrina, yeah. her eyes were like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I maybe started laughing because of her reaction. <laughs> um, okay, next one. This is to help you level out um, your teaspoon or tablespoon when you need to level it off. Um, you put a rubber band around it. You can even keep the rubber band around it and put the lid on it um, to, you know, to keep it so you don't have to keep finding a rubber band. But, right, you put your tablespoon in there and you level it off. Can they see that? Mm -hmm. Ta-da! Nice. And I think this is really great for kids because, um, you know, my kids like to help me cook sometimes. I mean, like the once a year that I cook. And, um, you know, I've always do, do it with like a butter knife, but that's really hard for kids to figure out. And this is just one-handed, they can just pull and So I, I love this idea to do um, if your kids want to help especially too. Yeah, I use a kitchen knife too. Kid or husband. But, or husband. <laughs> Danny's like, I need that life hack. Um, okay, oh, so man. this idea is if you need a quick stand for um, your phone, and I thought this would be especially great for like, um, if you're pulling up a recipe on your phone, you can put a rubber band around it. You're gonna pull the rubber band to this side in a very oh. cool way. Am I doing this right? Okay. And then my phone snaps in half. <laughs> no, the phone's not. Do I have the right rubber band? Jerry made it look so much easier. There you go, it's gonna stand like that. Oh, that was really stressful. Ooh. Then you have yourself Not a nice little stand. Shabby. And you can, I mean, any kind of, you know, small bottle like that would work. And and I do have like a pretty big phone. My phone's kind of big. Maybe it's not bigger than some phones. And last but not least, if you have a straw that is too small for whatever container you're drinking out of and it keeps falling, um, which is not this straw. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry's over there smiling. Um, what you want to do is you're going to wrap this around a couple of times and then you're going to wrap it around the straw. And then you put it in. That was... <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Jerry, when Jerry did it, it was really cool. Well, you know, Jerry, you... why was it so cool when you did it? 
Well, that's a good way to keep the straw from. If you <laughs> if you don't want to lose your straw, <laughs> guys, Jerry did it, and it was like so perfect. <laughs> yeah. Why use a straw? Keeps it from. Uh... Okay, that was awful. We need like Danny. Will you create like a a sign or something that is like life hack fail every time I totally screw it up. <laughs> We're totally doing oh, that. Oh, <laughs> Jerry, Jerry, do you want to show them? No. Nope. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Jerry doesn't want to show you. Um, Basically. I mean, Jerry didn't put the straw on first, Gina. <laughs> we need a life hack fail. Anyways, some really awesome uses to use rubber bands with. I don't know. I think I lost a rubber band. You Any questions flipped it about over here, remember? Hacks. It's stuck in my mom's oh, yeah. eye. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot, actually. Jerry is the bomb. It's true. You were on a roll and then the straw. Ugh, I should have left it out. Um, <laughs> any questions about those life hacks? Do you guys have any other life hacks? Maybe using rubber bands? Maybe some essential oil hacks that you use? That you know, maybe you have found, like a Immune Boom, right? Maybe you have found an oil that's not known to help with that, but you think it's amazing and you swear by it. Anything like that, share it. We love to hear your life hacks to make all Mondays more manageable. <laughs> Look at me doing full circle there, guys. <laughs> life hack fell. It really was. Um, okay, let's see. Now on to important things. Lucky. You're going to be lucky if you find out in the next 24 hours. But on top of that, you are even luckier this year with this lucky that's coming out. Just saying. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's pretty awesome. I saw the labels for the first time the other day. He saw a label, guys. Yeah. Pretty he incredible. He is luckier than you guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm not telling you anything besides what I just said, which is actually a lot. <laughs> well, so wait a minute. You said... You'll be lucky if you see it in the next 24 hours. Yeah. Lucky because it's not coming in 24 hours. You'd be lucky if it was. That's the, know. that's the, uh. You'll be lucky. So probably not because you're not going to be lucky. I don't know. I don't know what I'm <laughs> saying. I'm just like trying to say lucky in as many ways as I can. <laughs> You'll be lucky if this live doesn't last for another 10 minutes. No, I don't know. <laughs> um, let's see. What? Yeah, I saw someone post it. Who posted what? Chelsea said. I know they've been sending again. some like. Hint stuff? Neat stuff, haven't they? I know they have, and then I'm asking. <gasps> Guys, Ooh, Elizabeth said she saw. Oh, wait, was it Elizabeth? No, Celeste. Elizabeth she said, said I'd seen the pamphlet. She said, yeah, I saw someone got an info sheet with their order. Oh, yeah. Guys, okay, so you guys know what's going on. You try to get Celeste to tell you more, guys. Retha is rambling. I'm trying to do hints that aren't very good. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> um, so are the scratch-offs luckier or is the lucky luckier? Maybe you'll be luckier. Maybe yeah. neither of those are luckier, just you'll be luckier. Maybe, You're going to find out. Maybe you'll be unlucky. Wait. I'm just spreading more rumors. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. And I was especially luckier than you <laughs> because I got to smell it and yeah, I'm not, really quite impressed. So, I have not. Again, you guys, it. I'm really confusing you. So, you know, let's end this. Okay, who's ready for a big giveaway? What's she saying over there? Smell your lucky oils. They're magically delicious. Oh, <laughs> she's over there singing. Yes. Um, will you be talking about lucky on a live? Absolutely. If you're lucky, I will. <laughs> <laughs> I should have said that before I said absolutely, huh? Came to me yeah. late, guys. Came to me late. Uh, okay. Let's give some away. Is that my phone? Yep, yeah. we'll turn it this way. Who oh, <laughs> knows what's popping up? The secret text from his wife or something. Uh, okay, giveaway question. Let's choose, let's make these customers extra lucky today and let's choose three winners for the giveaway. Um, you will have until 5 p.m. Mountain Time to answer the giveaway question in the comment section of the live video to be entered. And um, 
Just reading your comment. <laughs> comments, focus, Rita. Um, so here's your question. And we're gonna pick three winners. What oils do you like to use when you travel? It's mm. easy peasy, right? Immune boom, <laughs> immune boom, and immune boom. Immune boom, roll on, immune boom, roll on, and <laughs> immune boom, roll on. I don't know, it doesn't even change out. And um, so the three winners, you're each going to win the Kid Safe Wellness Sampler Set, which is Immune Boom, Sniffle Stopper, and Germ Destroyer. Three winners. Can we win Lucky and Luckier? Not today, but who knows what's going to happen on later this week. <laughs> <laughs> I need to leave, guys. Uh, yeah, Have an amazing Monday. Um, don't forget, LMI is the oil of the week. Tomorrow was the last day. 15% off any size. Um, make sure you check out the cleaning set. We have, it's our, what's it called again, Danny? It's called the... The set shout out. I don't know. It's called something. I think it's called the cleaning set. No, but you know, it's not the oh, set of the week. What is it? It's called Get to Know. Get to Know. Oh, I always forget that. <laughs> Annie, um, so Get to Know cleaning set because if you buy it in the set versus those oils individually, it's a 25% savings. Don't forget to check out the Balm Squad because it's the Balm, you guys, at thebalm.com. Um, like and share this video. We have a new, um, a new video that's part of our top 15 question series. Um, that's coming out this week. So a lot of awesome things happening. Make sure you stay tuned. We'll be back on Wednesday at 5 p.m. Mountain, mountain time. Have an amazing Monday. See you guys Wednesday. Bye.